Hello, my name is Benjamin, Snom Labs video, and in this video um, I want to show uh, some information about what is secure voice over IP communication. So on this whiteboard we have two telephones, telephone A and B, and as both are um, voice over IP telephones in our example, so they are both somehow connected through an IP internet protocol network. Alright, so when in the communication of uh, IP telephones there's, there, are two, there are two items. The first item is the signaling. That is done with a protocol called SIP. This stands for Session Initiation Protocol and it's an open standard so that is used for the signaling that means everything which is even before you can hear some some voice and uh, this SIP Session Initiation Protocol is a text-based format. So, so those are um, exchanging text-based messages. For example, if telephone A wants to call B, there, just to give you one example, there's something like um, this phone sends an invite to the other phone of course, that is also going through your IP infrastructure. And then the other phone will send back another message like OK to establish the call. So there are lots of different text messages exchanged in this protocol. Um, and that is called handshake. But in our case, it is not as important. So I will delete this. So we say for the signaling, the process the protocol used is SIP. After signaling is done, that comes to the second item, that is voice. Because the requirement for, trans for transmitting uh, voice data is different from the signaling, so that's why this is separated. And, um, and this is done with a so-called RTP. And that is real-time transport protocol. Real time transport protocol. All right. So this is used for for streaming the voice. So so they are in they are sending voice packages from A to B in both directions they are sending voice packages okay so that is a typical configuration for an unsecure communication because there's no security no no protection here so in order to make this to um, secure secure operation there are for the item one for the signaling this is called secure SIP so that ends, um, adds an S here which stands for secure secure and this secure SIP is using as using the TLS TLS that is transport layer security and you can say the TLS the idea of the TLS is a cryptographic protocol and it is similar to the one used in the internet which makes from an HTTP website to an HTTP secure website. So the, so the type 
of securing the signaling communication is similar to the known one from, from the web pages. So online banking, for example, and many other applications using HTTPS uh, protocol instead of HTTP, and that is using the same cryptographic protocol, so it's similar. But this is only for the signaling, so the, in this case, when using the secure SIP, our signaling is, is uh, secure. And uh, for the voice, there is a, a protocol called then SRTP, which stands for Secure Real-Time Transport Protocol. And that is a um, data, data flow encryption, and it is using AES. AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. So I will write this Advanced Encryption. standard. And um, interestingly, uh, interesting enough is that, for example, Wikipedia states that even the NSA, so the National Security Agency in the US, um, they have approved um, this advanced encryption standard to be used for top secret information. So the AES is known or accepted as a, as a very secure way of data communication. So, and in the case of SNOM IP phones, so if you're here having SNOM IP phones on both sides, and both are used in the way of communication, either TLS and the signaling for SIPs and AES for the SRTP for, for the voice, then those phone they will show the lock on the screen so there's a lock sign on, and only when both both items for the signaling and for the voice are fulfilled it will show the lock sign on the screen showing you that you are having now a, a more secure communication so with voice over IP the advantage is that you can establish a much more secure communication while the older telephone system like for the public switch telephone net network there's almost no security and there's and the and the level is much lower than than the one from the voice over IP another option beside the um, TLS and AES um, is to use a VPN channel so that is a, another even more secure option um, that is supported by the SNOM IP phones. So that means there is a tunnel, a VPN tunnel connection between both VPN, virtual private network. So this extends a private network across a public one. And so SNOM, three C, uh, SNOM 7 series and 8 series device where where it is stated that they are supporting the VPN function, they can establish a secure VPN tunnel information and can additionally use also the, the, the secure SIP and the SRTP. So you have two different ways of additional secure communication channels. All right, thank you very much for listening to Snom Labs channel. Please subscribe our channel and uh, have a nice day, bye.